everyone! Today I'm going to show you a really quick nifty little trick for how to keep your chains from twisting. Now I am a huge, huge champion of avoiding chaining <laughs> if possible, so I will always try and use uh, a foundation chainless start if I can. However, Sometimes it's just simply unavoidable and you need to do a huge great big long chain for say a snood or a scarf, a cowl or sometimes even just a blanket. So there's nothing worse than doing loads and loads of chains only to find that they are twisted. So this is a just a nifty little trick for how to keep your chain perfectly straight. So to begin, chain, say, I don't know, five, just chain a few. I'm going to do five, four, five. Then take your hook out, keep the chains in your hands, they're facing in the right direction. And you're going to pop your hook into that first chain by the slip knot. Just pop that on your hook. Then You'll notice I haven't moved my chain at all. Pop that working loop back on your hook. Then you are good to carry on chaining. Just keep chaining. Now you don't want this one to come off. So you just keep chaining however many you need to chain. Just keep going. And it keeps your chain from twisting around. So it is completely, you can see it's facing the same. My chains are a bit loose and a bit rubbish but that's just because I'm trying to show you this technique. So I can keep going for as many as you need. This is really handy for if you are doing like a cowl or something that requires a lot of chains that you then slip stitch to join. So just keep chaining. This is permanently attached to my hook. I'm, it's not really doing anything and you can see the whole chain. It may be messy. <laughs> because I'm rushing, but it's completely flat and facing in the right direction. So it's not twisting around like that as you work. So you chain as many as you need to chain. And if you did then need to join them with a slip stitch, you can literally pull this one, your one that you attached, over. Then you have a perfect non twisted chain all the way around or if you weren't doing that just drop it off your hook and again you've got a perfect flat non twisty chain so just a really simple quick little tip for you for how to have a perfectly flat chain and I hope your chains are neater than mine <laughs> So I hope that helps and I will see you on my channel very soon for another video. Happy crocheting!